Farm hands, how's everybody doing today? So we're just down in the new fish room for the Phoenix 700. Today we're gonna do uh, the electrical. We're just gonna install a bunch of pot lights. Uh, I'm thinking maybe at least 10. I want it really bright in here. Um, so this is gonna be my island, so we can do unboxing, products review, stuff like that. So I want it very bright. So I'm probably gonna put, this is about four feet, so I'm gonna put about three pots, four inch pots above this. So there's gonna be lots of lights so we can check things out. Um, I wanna make sure to run with different pots along the, the back here for the counter along the edge and then I'm going to put a pot over top of the sink so it's very bright that's where I end up going to you know cleaning uh, filter socks skimmers pumps all that good stuff and happy to have all the room down here now so I can put away like all my like my carbon any filters any kind of stuff fish food media it's good like that that's why it's great to have all this room down here and then after we do the the electrical today um, I'm going to head down we're going to pick up uh, some drywall start drywalling the ceiling mudding taping got to pick up a few different things for that process and then uh, we can cut out and uh, install all the pot lights. As soon as we get enough light down here, get some paint on, and things will start taking off even faster. It's gonna be a lot more of a, a nicer area. So let's go ahead, let's start doing some wiring. Just a couple more to go, we're getting there. So we're gonna jump over from the last one and we're gonna do uh, over the island. So we're gonna put about three in here. This is the plan. So we're getting there, we have uh, just a couple more pot lights to wire in, and then uh, we can move on to starting the drywall. Um, always remember, get yourself a licensed electrician to do this job, and uh, make sure to get it inspected as well. Safety is comes number one, right guys? So let's keep at it, and then we're gonna get some drywall going. So we got the, all the wiring in for all the pot lights. Everything turned out pretty good. Um, I just, what I did is I measured, I just put my measurements on this piece of strapping so I know which walls to measure from. So I have my centers. So we can just take the four inch hole saw, cut through the drywall. It's a lot less mess that way and it does a nice clean cut. And then we can place those uh, pot lights right in. Um, I end up putting three over my island so there's lots of light. So we do some unboxing videos to check out different products. I'm gonna get corals and fish and stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I put one light over uh, the sink, two in the front, so there's lots of light there as well. Um, I didn't put any over where the sump's going. We're going to have uh, different lights hanging over that anyway, and then have the frag tank, so I don't need much light over in that area. So what we need to do now is head down to the local uh, warehouse and uh, pick up some uh, drywall, and then we can start hanging it. Uh, i got to get some mud, some screws, some different tools, and we'll be good to go. So let's start that next. All right, farm hands. so we're back. I got the drywall, so we're going to start drywalling the ceiling and hopefully get that all done tonight. And then um, I'm gonna probably uh, cut all the pot lights in so I can have a bunch of light in this area to make things a lot easier for working. So that's the plan. I got the half inch drywall, got everything pre-cut, it's ready to go. I got a bunch of screws, I got a drill, measuring tape, pencil, all that good stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start with the first piece in the corner here. I got the first piece all cut and ready to go. So I got a special little bit for uh, my drill here. It just, you put your screw on the end of it and it has a flat edge. So as soon as you hit the drywall, it bottoms out and then pops the screw right off. All right, so we got the first piece off. Just, I'll put more screws in it later. So let's move on to the second piece. So I got my wires here for my pot lights. So I marked those all out before. Everything's all measured out. So we can just drill our hole and then we can uh, put the pot lights in. So the next piece.
got all the drywall up, it went pretty well. So it's pretty dull in here. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my four inch hole saw and this is the size of the pot light LED. So this is the LED right here guys. See how small it is? This is only nine watts of power and it's so thin. It's a thickness or less of strapping, of half inch strapping. So it can pretty much fit in anywhere. So with this hole saw, I just cut through the drywall and do this install. It's very easy. So that's what we're gonna do now. I have everything marked out. We're gonna go and pre-cut all the holes and then we're gonna do all the install. This way I'll have a bunch of light when I start to do all the mudding and sanding and everything. All right guys? Okay, so I got everything all marked out. So let's, let's start with these ones first. I got these ones marked. So there's one. Two. Ugh. So how many we got? We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten of these uh, pot light fixtures that are going to be going in. Um, I might add a couple more in here. Depends on I think about might put my skimmer in this area. I really want to light that up, so I'll probably put it in that area, and I might put a couple more back here on the bench. Depends on how uh, much it lights up. So next thing we have to do is go ahead and we got to start uh, wiring these in. that perfect so I just got to go ahead and we'll start wiring these all in So it went really well, we got the whole install. So now we just have to see if everything turns on and everything works perfectly. So let's do this. Suri, can you please turn on the Phoenix? 
Perfect. Everything's working fine. That's this week's episode. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit of information. Follow around uh, my little build here. You know, this is like a diary of each process going step by step. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. So all I have to do left now is uh, do some mudding, sanding, taping, and then a couple coats of paint and we're good to go. So uh, next week's video, we're gonna do uh, the sump design and the stand here on the left. I got some great ideas. I wanna do sort of a, like a 3D kind of sump. I wanna put my skimmer right behind me here, sort of like on display, cause it's pretty cool. So that's what's next week, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and hit the like button.